Hey everyone, I'm Madeleine Cassie, the owner and founder and nutritionist at Sparkle Lifestyle in Midispa. And today I want to talk about how to pre-organize and prioritize, I'm sorry, uh, your life in general. Uh, and the main reason why you need to do this is because when you start a healthy uh, lifestyle program, you're motivated, it's new, you have those bunch of goals and then you start it, you lose a couple of pounds, you're motivated and then kind of things start, the motivation go down a little bit. And that's totally normal because focusing on numbers, it's actually not a good way to stay motivated. And you need to look at a healthy lifestyle as a, a way of living and you need to do this forever. And when you start a plan, well, let's be real, life gets in the way and you really need to uh, adapt to that and change it. So um, like in my, like for me, it's definitely a lifestyle. That's what I decided to do. I'll do it for the rest of my life uh, because I just like the results. So the best way to do this, it's actually when you start, as soon as you feel that motivation is a little bit gone, um, you just start maybe missing out workouts, uh, you feel overwhelmed with life in general, your meal prep's not done anymore, life just gets in the way, that's the time to do a timeout, timeout here. This is some, that's something that's not working, I need to, um, to work at this. So my first step is actually to sit down and write down all the reason why I'm doing this program, why I want to lose weight, why, um, why I'm doing this. You need to sit down and write everything about it. And I don't want an answer like, I want to lose 10 pounds. That's not the reason why you know you're doing this. If you're only focusing on the scale or a number, you will never achieve that goal and you'll never be happy with yourself because that number can always go down. You'll never be satisfied. It's just not a good um, scale to gauge your success. You need to focus on things like, I want to just be able to wear what I want to wear. I want more energy to play with my kids. I want to live long. I'm tired of my acne. Uh, I'm just, I'm tired of being exhausted all the time. Uh, whatever reason that means, you need to write it down and focus on that. Let's say for me personally, I just love the feeling of being able to wear whatever I want to wear in the morning. I want to look good. I just want to wear that bikini and I want people to look around when I'm walking. I don't feel totally selfish, but that's what it is. Let's be honest here. Or um, I really, I do acne, like heavy adult acne. When I eat well, when I drink water, my acne is really more under control. So that's the three, three main reason why I'm doing this and why I'll be doing it forever. So you need to come up with answer like that um, and take those three answer and put it on your fridge, put it everywhere that that's ready. So you need to really focus on that. That's super important. The other thing that you need to do is come up with the list of everything that's in your mind, everything that kind of in the way of achieving those goals. So, like, let's say um, at some point in my life, um, I was always like binging because I come from like eating disorder a little bit. So I was obsessed with food. And as soon as I would be down I would, or maybe bored, I would like binge eat. And then I start realizing it that I was doing stuff daily that was actually giving me anxiety. And actually for me, cooking gives me anxiety physical anxiety. I start shaking and everything. Okay. So, but that's an example. That's my example. So being bored at work and cooking was two major uh, problem that was actually, um, in the way of achieving my permanent goals. So I had to sit down and just kind of plan, okay, well, if I don't want to cook, I need to come up with, um, different ways of feeding myself the healthy way. So I have planning ready and food available for me and stuff like that. So, but I, that all come up with, you need to sit down and just looking at what's in your life that's keeping you away from those goals. And those things, you need to act on it. You need to make a decision. You need to, how are you going to um, adapt your life around the fact that those, you have those problems? 
So for me, it was either, okay, find a place that can have meal ready for me or hire someone that can do it or maybe maybe find a, a friend that every Sunday will do our meal together so I'm not alone cooking. Um, or in my case, I had to actually look at my job and create Sparkle um, because I was obviously not fulfilled with the job I had before. So those are my personal example, but you need to look at that. And sometimes other minor thing, let's say, um, well, my, I have laundry to do and I have like tasks, like name tasks like that. Well, do, I'm sorry, but doing your laundry or folding your um, towel the perfect way doesn't bring you closer to your goals. So it's either that that task you delegate to someone else or you hire someone or you just accept that you'll have unmatching socks for the rest of your life. But it's stuff like that, that it's either you deal with it, you accept it, you're moving on. Like let's say that you're, it's your stepmom that's just annoying. Well, it's either you're telling her that she needs to stop calling you in five minutes or you just accept it and you don't answer. Or as soon as she starts complaining, you just kind of forget about it. So that just examples, but you need to really look at all the problem that kind of stays, keep you away from those goals and you need to fix it and deal with it. That's life. You would not get to, you would not start your day at work unprepared. Same thing when it comes to a healthy lifestyle, you really need to look back at your own life and realize what's important, what gets you closer to your goal and what's not, and what's not, you need to move on and accept that your life, your stocks can be perfect. That's fine, it's okay. So that was my tips and trick on how to have a healthy, organized, and how to prioritize, oh, I'm sorry with that word, I'm <laughs> French girl. So if, um, yeah, how to do it and just have that healthy lifestyle forever. I hope it helped a little bit. Please share if you have comment, if you like it, or how you actually do it, how you organize your life. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.